know we're shit. Yeah. Thanks for watching the Daily Drift. So if you can't tell, I'm pretty much out of gas and I'm trying to get this thing registered. Wish me luck. I got a pass, so we're good. But uh, it's going to be an interesting day to say the least. Can't tell you how good it feels to actually drive this thing. Well, the good news is I made it, got some gas, but I can't tell you just how anxious I am driving this thing, just because I'm always afraid it's gonna like break down or something's not gonna work the way it's supposed to, or that it won't start again, because you all know our history with this thing starting, so let's see what she does. Come on, baby, you got this. Or not. Oh, boy. See, this is like what I was talking about. This is why I always get worried shutting it off. Ooh. And it's moments like these where I start to question, why didn't I just buy a regular car? And then I remembered, this thing is amazing. There she goes. All right, so now I'm just sitting waiting at the inspection station. There shouldn't be any reason why we can't pass. We have everything we need to be legal, um, but we'll see what they say. Uh, sometimes they can get on you for being having a cage and all that kind of stuff, but we'll see. If you can't tell, I always get a little bit nervous with these things. I think it's just because I hate failing things but I'm sure it'll be fine. It's passed before, I don't see why it won't pass again. So ultimately, the ultimate goal is if we get this thing registered, we can then take it to car shows and stuff like that, but also just to get out of the garage and actually drive it. Uh, that's really the main goal, because when we have to trailer it everywhere, it's just a pain in the butt, so. Wish me luck, it looks like we're gonna get going here pretty quick. I'm not gonna record it just because, you know, I don't wanna be rude. Well, the good news is we passed, now we just gotta go and get it registered, but I can't drive this there because I've only got a one-way pass. Looks like we're taking the W. It starts off just like it should. Shuts off. It would decide to start raining. Holy crap. Oh man. It would decide to rain the second I decide to leave. Boy, it's really coming down today. So one good thing about driving in the rain is that you get to find all your leaks. And luckily, the sunroof on this thing isn't leaking, but my window is. Just one of those weird things. It's like 20 year old weather stripping, so what do you expect? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this was definitely not the best day to pick the BMW to drive. I am terrified I'm gonna hit a massive puddle and soak up a bunch of water into my intake. Oh boy. So I made it to the place. I'm just gonna go get the sticker real quick. I just can't bring you in there. It's government building. You know how it is. Well, we got the ticket. So good news is we got the registration. So now we just gotta go home and put that on. But can I just say, it is nice having a BMW with seat warmers. Like, holy crap. How many cars do you know from the 90s that have seat warmers? And these things actually work. Like, literally everything on this car works now. So I just gotta say, this car has been like one of the best cars that I've had since I've built it and like, yeah, there's a few little things with the suspension, but other than that, I'm loving driving this car. I will say there is something special about driving after a rainstorm. I don't know what it is, but I really do enjoy it. I enjoy that now that the rain's gone, I can actually just focus on driving. You know, and every now and again, if the car gets a little sideways, you know, it happens when the roads are wet, I'm just saying. But, you know, it is it is something that's nice, and you know, I don't I don't get out very much, and you may not be able to see too well from this video, but a lot of times for me, just leaving the house, I get really really anxious. Um, so this is a uh, this has been a pretty productive day for me. I know it seems simple, but it's literally just getting a car registered. But to me, it's it's a pretty big deal, and it's been kind of hanging over my head for the last two weeks. So it's quite a relief to actually be done with it. Now that is what I call a job well done. So I'd say that was a pretty successful day. I mean, this thing, I'm just happy that we finally got the inspection sticker on it. It looks good. The car is actually driving well. I had a few little things when I was going, a few things got wiggled loose, but that's just from all the vibrations. I mean, this thing is just a monster. It is just like a rattle trap going down the road. I mean, it's, it's pretty nuts. I don't know why that light decided to go off, but it did. So we're just gonna keep rolling with it. 
But the good news is that, you know, this thing's registered. So now whenever we go to our next events, we're gonna be able to take it out, go drive it on the street, drive it to drift events, drive it to car shows, whatever. Maybe I just wanna go get a cup of coffee. Either way, the idea is that I wanna get out more, do more of these types of things, even though it does stress me out quite a bit because I have a hard time like just leaving a lot if I don't have to. Um, but it's something I'm working on and it's something I really wanna work on a lot. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention too is I wanted to say thank you to everybody that's been joining lately. Everybody that's been subscribing and liking and watching the videos. I've been seeing all the comments. It's hard for me to keep up with a lot of them, so I'm, I'm doing my best, but uh, I really do appreciate you guys. I appreciate everyone that stopped by and especially everybody that's been here since the very beginning. Um, it, it really does mean a lot to have you guys here and actually enjoying some of the stuff I put out. I know sometimes I put some stuff that's kind of like, you know, a little bit, eh, you know, but I'm just trying different things. So I do appreciate your support. I'm going to keep trying different things and uh, hopefully you'll still keep watching and enjoying them. But either way, guys, I hope you all have a great day. If not, I hope it'll get better and I'll be sure to see you all in the next one. And just remember, keep it nice and easy. Almost forgot to mention, don't think we forgot about it. It's still coming. <laughs>